Kanmai thought his vision problems were from being tired. He was a new father, had just changed jobs, and moved to Seattle. I thought it was due to my workload and distress from taking care of our baby and all that. Although nearsighted, the 40-year-old Amazon employee knew something was very wrong. His peripheral vision was off, and letters on the eye chart were strangely blurry. If you see a letter E, you split it right in half uh, vertically, and that's what I would see. I would only see the inside half and not the outside half. Khan was also having double vision and feeling cold all the time. I was feeling very cold inside, uh, inordinately cold, where I would be wearing a, a thick jacket while others were just wearing t-shirts. An MRI revealed the problem. A tumor the size of a large plum was growing inside Khan's pituitary gland. So this tumor grew very slowly, and as it grew, there were no symptoms at all. But once, once it reaches a certain size, it grows up into the brain where the first structure that it encounters are the optic nerves. Those optic nerves are under pressure, the vision nerves, and as a result of that, the patient loses vision. To remove the tumor, neurosurgeon Mark Mayberg uses a GPS-like navigation system to guide instruments up Kahn's nostril. With microscopic precision, he reaches the tumor through a sinus cavity behind the nose. The minimally invasive surgery takes about an hour. So I have the bottom half of the tumor out, and now I'm just going to take out the upper part that's affecting his vision. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Two hours later, Khan is awake, with a slight headache, but clear vision. I feel like um, a lot of things are much more clear now, uh, sharper, and uh, distortion is pretty much gone. Khan will be monitored for possible recurrence of the tumor. But otherwise, doctors say he can expect to lead a perfectly normal life. In Seattle, this is Mark Christopher.